Hello and welcome back to the Ringer's NBA Preview Palooza. I'm Chris Ryan, this is Jason Concepcion, this is Juliet Littman, this is Micah Peters. Yeah. This is the point guard draft. We are here to figure out who the top 16 point guards are in the NBA. The rules of the game are simple. You are starting a team, you are picking a point guard. How you determine who a point guard is, you just have to make that argument, okay? So we're gonna start with Jason, we're gonna go Juliet, Micah, then me, and we're just gonna go round and round until we get 16, and we're gonna hope to come out with like the top 16 point guards in the NBA. Jason, who is, you blank slate, yes. the world is your oyster, shuck it. What with, is going on? With the first pick in the point guard draft <laughs> uh, for the Ringer NBA preview of Palooza, Jason Concepcion takes Giannis, Greek freak, Atenakuwampo, of the Milwaukee Bucks, age 22. I feel like he's he a can't do that if Why? he can't pronounce his last name correctly. <laughs> Great point. I'm just, I'm just saying. I just, I'm like, I've, I feel, I feel like if you're going to draft him, you have to be able to say his name without tripping over it. Let's hear what? it. Let's hear it. Let's Anetokumpo. hear it. Anetokumpo. Anetokumpo. Okay, Anetokumpo. 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 Anetokumpo.
I want to go after this guy I love with it. great white shark teeth, and then I'm going to sh ram it down the other team's throat. I love, love, love watching right. him play. Him jumping on the scorer's table at amazing. the end of yeah. game yeah. six against Honestly, Boston. Honestly, like the 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 disdain with which he treated Dennis Schroeder during the whole series was my favorite. Also, yeah. like. How are you gonna hit a you're gonna hit a corner three and then run by where Julio Jones and Gucci Mane are sitting and just be like, ah. He also just doesn't give a fuck. Like yeah. he at all. He yes. he call he will call out the president. He will call out Dennis Schroeder. He like wants to be the leader of the team. He doesn't he doesn't care. He just does right. does his best self. All I like the time. it a lot. I, I, I do too. I like the pick. I like the. And then pick. he goes back to his hotel room and gets a black power fist <laughs> like tattooed on his back. Yeah, he's he's the real one. I love Listen, it. Anybody who decides to get a tattoo it. in a hotel room is number one. I pick like in it my a book. lot. Micah, who's your pick for number three? Giannis and John Wall off the board. I can. You and I are both just struggling here because we're. Emotionally... That, that was if both of my things <laughs> yeah. are gone. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to go with Damian Lillard. What? 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 That is actually insane. <laughs> Mike, what are you talking about? <laughs> I drew CJ McCollum over Damian Lillard. Wow. That's actually insane. Is it because he has the best like signature shoe? Theoretically, in the league right now. Actually, no. What Who's I saw the that? new one that know. came out, PGs and it wasn't really that tight. I mean, like it has that new Adidas like sock Wait, thing yeah. going on. I, if we're talking shoe point guard draft, it's obviously Kyrie. There's no competition. Wow, mm. I disagree. Oh, the Krispy Kreme. Sure. Yeah. Right, have you thinking... played in those? No. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Michael, why did you pick Damian Lillard? <laughs> I mean, okay, so Dick. <laughs> That's an insane pick. You're actually insane. <laughs> This is I the like, worst. Like, do we do we? Do we need to call the hospital? Do we need to call the hospital? Steph Curry are both still on the table. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think that like Adam Silver would like decertify this team. Like, <laughs> First, Giannis, John Wall, <laughs> Damian Lillard. Damian like, Lillard. I um, like it. I let's go I with it. Like, no, I like Damian Lillard because I like the fact that he wants. Okay, he wants the ball in his hands in the last minute. I mean, you want that from any point guard. He's, yeah. He makes those clutch shots. No, he doesn't. He made it like one time. What? <laughs> <laughs> Juliet is just like, no. And you're mad because no. he made it no. over Chandler. He no. made it over Chandler. I'll never forget it. <laughs> High usage last year, 19.8 field goal attempts per game last year. So he's growing into this, like, I am the guy. I am the, like, the I like Dame. Honestly, if, I do you, like if, Dame. if you, him, if he but... improves any, like, at all defensively this season, I think that you can make an argument for him being a top 10 player. Uh, yeah, he just needs to not be a turnstile because like <laughs> yeah, right now he is like, a turnstile. Worth, he's defense, basically right? like a net worth four points a game, but yeah, <laughs> I, I can see it. Um, I'm almost overwhelmed by choice right now you, because I this is yeah, this is right. unbelievable. Yeah, um, so I, I'm almost like now I have to pick against my better instincts. I think I, it's like we. I, I wanted to be surprising. I'm gonna, I think I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick Steph Curry. Okay, uh, that's, 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 that's right. Steph yeah. Curry. I, I actually am a huge Russell Westbrook stan. Like I feel like I should pick Russell. Russell Westbrook. We watched James Harden almost change offense last year, but I think because of Durant and because of the sustained success, we're kind of underrating Steph Curry at this point. I completely and agree. And also, yeah. like, I just have started to really like him this off season. I like, kind of respect the fact that he was like, "I'm not going to Vegas." Uh, you guys got <laughs> like that. Too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, he is like kind of forging his own path. He has become a little bit more outspoken as an athlete, which I like. And I also just think that we are underrating the way that he changes the geometry of the basketball yeah. court. He's one of those players in the same way that Giannis can you know, shorten a court by how many steps it takes him to get from one end of the floor to the other. Steph does that by the fact that the, the key, you know, like the, the top of the key becomes that much farther out. And you have to respect Steph so much, so far away from the hoop that he changes the entire complexion of the offense. We talk about like, oh, would Steph be that good if he wasn't surrounded by these great players? Would those players be as good if they weren't playing with Steph? That's what I'm asking. Yeah. So Steph Curry totally. is my number one pick. Jason, <coughs> round two, let's go. We got Giannis, Man. John Wall, Damian Lillard, and Steph <laughs> off the board. Will 57-year-old Chris Paul finally get a, a, a backup role this here? This is tough. I, th I am going to take, do you want to guess? Russell Westbrook. I'm going to take Russell Westbrook. I, I flirted with Harden. Because I like efficiency, Westbrook is, and I've used this analogy before, Westbrook is like, uh, he's like an eating contest. Mm. <laughs> like, uh, if a guy eats 100 hamburgers, that's not good for the earth, that's not good for society, that's not good for going to the bathroom, no. that's not good for his partners, like, in his life. If a guy's in a hamburger eating contest, but, right, it's, it's, bad. Is, it's yeah. But you want to yeah. see a guy eat 100 burgers. Yeah. 
So, like, I want to watch Russell you, Westbrook try to take every shot. You want to be a part of history. That's I wanna, what you're saying. And I Russ be, is a historic player. Yeah. Yes. I want to be a part of history, and I ride with Russell Westbrook. You and I grew up in, in a time of, like, yes. 90s ISO ball. That's right. And we probably, as much as we know that the product is better now, we have, like, a romantic attachment to guys sure. who are just, like... Fuck this. Fuck shit. you, Joe Boo. I do it myself. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I love it. All right, Juliet. I'm overwhelmed. Russ over the Russ is off the board. Russ off the board. Got a lot of uh, all NBA players still <laughs> available. A lot of them. <laughs> we've got Giannis. Okay. We've got John Wall, Damian Lillard, you, Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook. Will you talk me through my pick? Because sure. Here's what I'm weighing right now. Okay. Do I go with my my newfound interest, Boston Kyrie? Uh -huh. Wow. Mm. Or. Do I go with James Harden? I think if we were going based on last year, I'd pick Harden. Right. right but right. will he get the ball as much? Like, how is he going to play with Chris no. Paul? Here's the Can thing. I be confident he'll still be a point I'm guard? I'm going to tell you why you should pick Kyrie. And I already know you want to anyway. I do want to. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm into Kyrie Even now. Even when Harden was playing point guard, we saw him fade a little bit down the stretch. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, he had a couple of great games. A little games bit. Today. A little bit. Yeah, you want to get a little bit of series? Game. game. Whatever the end of that series was. Of course. And what I'm saying is, it's like, you can't, it's one thing to do that if you're a small forward, you have a bad game, you're like, uh, okay, man, put me out on the wing, I'll just see if I can get some spot shots. If you're running the offense, you cannot disappear. Right. And that's the thing about Kyrie, is he doesn't disappear. Right. He is what you would like Dame to be. His, his, shirt, <laughs> his shirt comes untucked and he hits a second gear. Yeah. 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 It's like, it's. He, yeah, and he just like, is it so excited to have his own team? He's talking to the media. It's going to get really yeah. weird. He's dunking. Yeah. He's dunking. He's on Reddit. <laughs> He's on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> you talked me into it. I'm taking Kyrie Irving. He's my guy. Okay, Kyrie Irving to it. Juliet. Micah. I'm going to go with another weird one. I'm going to pick Mike Conley. Not That's weird. It's not weird. It's not weird. It's not weird. It's not weird. Sorry. In like fact, it. if Mike Conley like had gone even like, before that, I, I mean, purely yeah. on like game four against the Spurs last like last postseason when he was just going toe to toe mm. with Ka Kawhi Leonard. Yes. Yeah. I mean, going back and forth, hitting the floater, and I mean, like it's just he's not. He's obviously not flashy. He's not like my favorite player to watch, but I mean, he's he produces consistently and, yeah. and he's going to defend and all the all the good stuff even with his awkwardly sized aviator jackets. Yeah, and also just like keeps getting better. Career high last year in points, career high mm -hmm. field goal percentage, career high three point percentages last season, 9.8 assists per 100 possession last year that was 6.3 per game like Mike Conley is like really good like if Mike really, Conley really, was really. the point guard for the Knicks like he would Worth be considered a legend also, every penny he, of 150 he would absolutely million would be I think an underrated <laughs> thing that you want in your point guard which um, I would say Kyrie does not have is like someone everyone likes because like if they are yeah, like a floor yeah. general they need to be like a galvanizing force safe pair right. hands yeah. And, no, yeah. and also no one says anything bad about Mike Conley like, yeah. a, like actually ever I've never heard a bad word quick recap right now Jason went Giannis number one Juliet went Wall number two Michael went Damian Ws. Lillard number three I picked Steph Jason went Russ for the first pick of the second round Juliet had Kyrie Micah picked Mike Conley good pick and now pick. it's my turn uh, you know, I don't want to get to, I, I, I feel like we still need to respect what happened last year. And even though, you know, I, I feel like I'm just like picking the obvious guys right here, but I'm going to pick Harden. Yeah. And uh, we have to just sort of like recognize. The MVP last year. He season. was the, uh, like, he was in the, the strip club. In the strip in club. In the strip MVP. club. <laughs> the strip club um, MVP. No, How do he, you think he feels about Travis Scott becoming a dad? That's tough for him. It's his really good friend. <laughs> you think there's an exist, like he holds Travis Scott's child and he's like, well, man. I really probably, wish that I had something right. in my life that was worthwhile. He probably just like, who will I hang out with now? He's going to be home being a dad. He's going to hang out with Chris Paul. I know that means he's not no going to get to play as much point guard as he did last year, although if Mike D'Antoni can stagger some minutes maybe, like those guys will each get their time on the ball. Was last year, he went up from 7.5 assists in 2015-16. 16-17, he jumped up to 11.2. And the thing that I like the most about the way Harden plays even though it is not my preferred tempo, is mm. tempo, is that he is able to basically slow the game out to his specifications. He's able to use his body to create space, and he has that kind of like toothpaste coming out of the tube slowly, but like it just like kind of like works. He's able to get to the hoop. He gets to the line all the time. So He's able to slow the game out. Yeah, I know that. I mean, but the, he, every one of these guys has flaws. Like Damian Lillard, when he is on the other end of the court besides offense, defense, doesn't play. <laughs> so, I mean, like there's also everybody He's got their pros and cons. Apparently, um, he yeah. like also slimmed down over the summer. That's great. That's true. Everybody's Jeez. slimming down. Everybody's slimming down. I, th I think they're secretly like all, like all going vegan plus like eating salmon. It's like vegan plus salmon. It's a pescatarian vegan. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> great. Salmon's delicious. I, I blame Steve Nash for this. Another great point guard. I feel like he invented the kind of like um, revive your career with health. You blame Steve Nash for people being <laughs> healthy. Blame Steve Nash for being healthy. Jason, round three uh, is upon us. 
It's time to get weird. Not that we Is haven't it? already. I'm going to go, no, actually, I'm going to go pretty conventional. I'm going to go with Chris Paul, CP3. There Have you go. heard of him? I've heard of him. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that he's an annoying guy, but obviously one of the greatest sub six foot three players that's ever played. Yes. Um, still a great defender, one of the best mid range players in the game, incredible floor general, and I, for my money, still the best player on the board, even at his advanced age and with his history of failing in the clutch. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, I think also with Chris Paul, like, the the thing you have to like think about is like, does he, does he, do you think he makes players who play with him better? Yeah, yeah. I think he does. But I think he does it in the most annoying way possible. Yes. Yeah. Like in a just very hectoring, nagging way, do this, do this, do this, and yes, you become better, but you're, after a while you're just like, dude, shut, shut It's up. interesting that he's a guy, you think we'd be of Italian, he obviously like somewhat orchestrated his move out of New Orleans, but it's strange that he's on his third team. You think that a guy like hey. that, who's mm. as important as him, would just, be, people would move heaven and earth to make him stick around. And, yeah. and clearly the Clippers, whether or not there was a choice to be made in this case, like decided that they wanted to turn the keys over to Blake and Tia Dosich. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we've you know, all Houston's been got him, but it's, you know, I'll be curious to see whether or not this experiment works out. What do you think? I mean, yeah, but. I also think that there's there's two different Chris Pauls. There's that Chris Paul that's like trying to orchestrate everything, and then there's the Chris Paul that's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it this myself. I think that was when, I uh, can't remember what game it was, but I think it was in the Spurs series last season mm -hmm. when Blake Griffin went down injured, and he was just like, I'm just gonna bring it up the court and shoot floaters and three-pointers and just take this game over myself. I wish he would do that in the first quarter I wish sometimes. he'd do it yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Uh, Juliet, uh, second pick of the fourth, uh, third round. I'm having a hard time. Mm. Okay. Do you want me to give you a little review of where we've gotten to? Sure. Giannis went first, Wall second, Lillard third, Steph fourth, Russ fifth, Kyrie sixth, Conley seventh, Harden eight, CP3 nine. I'm sure people are tearing out their eyelashes <laughs> watching this <laughs> because they can't believe that we've just basically inverted how it Everything. should actually go. <laughs> but Juliet, come on, the world is the world is yours. Goran Dragic. Yeah! Wow. I love it. Good First pick. of all, avowed Miami Heat Woo. fan. Yeah. I'm with the Heat. I watch this on Whiteside Snapchat every day. It's great. It's really, it's fun content. It honestly is. Anyway, Goran Dragic. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it was like a really elaborate like, water ride. Hassan Whiteside. Have you just talked to a Dra Goran Dragic yet? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, back to Goran Dragic. Um, he is like overshadowed because he is just a really straightforward point guard who can also score. Yeah. Like I just think that he, and also he got, he had some injuries or whatever, but he's just a solid player. He won the gold medal in Eurobasket recently? Yes, he yeah. did. You, yeah. could, you could, you could, if the exercise here is to build a team, he's a solid foundation. I think he block. needs to get on that salmon diet because I feel like Goran Dragic is always fighting some injury, you know? Well, there's no better place for that than Miami. Yeah. They're like no, <laughs> yeah. they are known organizationally for keeping you in tip top shape. They really, I wonder how players. they do it. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Do you, no idea. Idea. Do you just wonder how they right, do it? You want to just you want to you want to just go ahead I and wonder how they do it sometimes. I, I, I wonder. I w I'm with Coach Spell, so me and Spell support Goran Dragic. Okay, yeah. that's great, Micah. What do you think? <laughs> we got the, the last pick of the uh, no for your pick in the third round. I mean, like, I'm going to go with Kyle Lowry. That's oh, a great pick. That's I'm a go great. Kyle Lowry. I forgot he existed. You seem yeah. like you don't. <laughs> you seem like you'd rather not be picking Kyle Lowry. I mean, like, okay, 31 years old. I mean, I think that. If you, if a player's appreciable peak is somewhere between the ages of 25 and like 30 ish, yeah, I mean, he's like, on the outside some, going yeah, down. he's on the yeah. downside, but at the same time, through shooting 34.9% in the playoffs. And I mean, like, if now that uh, Toronto has him locked down long term, I think that like he's going to be their bridge to whatever playoff success they're going to have if they ever make it out of the Eastern Conference. But I mean, also, Great shooter, great pass. I mean, like, he's better than anyone mm. wants to give him credit for. And I, I mean, like, I would, I, you know, it's probably not great that I was waiting until the third <laughs> round to draft him. But, I mean, I would take Kyle Lowry. Yeah. I'm really excited to watch Lowry this year because it sounds like Dwayne Casey is going to install a 2007 or 8 offense instead it. of the 1997 one. So it does seem like they're going to play a little bit less mid-range bully ball and, like, start to, like, pace and space it. It would be right. cool to watch Lowry in this I, offense. I, I'm really excited for year four of DeMar DeRozan needs to shoot threes, but doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of our great storylines. I'm also excited for uh, Kyle Lowry signing a big contract and being a guy who who 
has weight problems. <laughs> yeah. That's I hope not. Yeah. I like but his Larry. butt is his actually part of his game. Great it's butt. Yeah. Great, great butt. Yeah. Big butt. Great many big of the, butt. Many of these point guards, I mean, Chris Paul as well. Yeah. You know, it's part, nice of, butt. part of their game. You get the guy on the butt, and you got him stuck there, and then you go. I'm just happy Lowry and DeRozan are still together. All that, right. that would have been yeah. tough. So I'm having a hard time with my pick because the Who's heart the wants with the... So let me just throw a couple of names out there. Sure. I want to pick Ricky Rubio. I am an, a long-time mm. Ricky Rubio stockholder. Uh, He's my, looking great now, too. And he looks great, and he had like a great second half of the season yeah, for really Minnesota. Did. I really, really want to pick Ricky Rubio. But I'm thinking, you know, obviously I have like a lot of time for Kemba Walker. I love big shot guys. I love dudes who just take the game by the throat and are just like, it's me versus the world. I love all those guys. I'm going to pick Lonzo Ball, though. Woo! Yes! <laughs> yes, Chris! Because yes! I watched Lonzo live once, all <laughs> in preseason in Vegas against the Celtics, and it took five minutes for me to recognize why he probably should have been the number one pick of the draft over Markel Fultz. Yeah. I realized that this guy just comes along once a generation, and it's just this is the reason why I like watching basketball. Guys go. like Lonzo are my favorite kind of players, and it's the kind of player who sees things happening before they like actually it. start happening. His passes are two seconds earlier than everybody else's passes, and it's to the space where the person is going, not can, where they are. Can you can you repeat the, the thing about Markel Fultz again? Because I'm I sorry, well, make I was sure, having like a I want to make sure that you can <laughs> you can never go Based back to Philadelphia again. Based on what we know now, I would love it. If if Markel Fultz, if we had, if the Sixers had drafted Lonzo Ball over Markel Fultz, I'm happy to go back on that after Markel Fultz has an incredible torrid start right. to the season <laughs> and is averaging 25 points a game and is getting wide open looks because Ben Simmons is spacing the floor by right by uh, what. Adjust his mechanics to be back to what it originally was. <laughs> Lonzo is my favorite kind of point guard. White Chocolate Jason Williams, Jason Kidd, Ricky Rubio, Lonzo Ball. The guys who have like eyes all over their head. I like this pick. I, I like it say. too. I, gotta I like say, it. It's, I, a, it's I a, like a good it. one. I was wondering when he was going to get snatched. Thank I you so like much. It. Okay, Jason, you're up. Fort last oh, pick. Wow. So I, you can really like sell the farm on this one. Yeah, I'm going to, you know what? Let's go crazy. So far, uh -oh. you have Giannis, you have Russ, and you have CP3. So you yeah. are actually You've got a really good team. You have, yeah. a, great I have team. a great team. <laughs> Here's my, I'm going to go. I'm really worried. Are you? If you steal my heat rock. Mm. Think about her. Think about what she's interested in in life. British novels. <laughs> <laughs> British novels. Uh, you know, I don't, I can't, it's, you really have to read. Basics. I gotta, I'm going to go Eric Bledsoe. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I Good just one. like I want to go. Clutch Sports says thank you. You know that every other year his knee disintegrates, right? I understand right? that, but I just feel like that kind of bully style. I really enjoy it. Super physical dude. Yes, his knee is a problem. I think he's underrated, and I think he's underrated because he gets injured all the time. Yeah. But you know, we're down here, and I'm going to take a shot. And I'm gonna take I like Lonzo. it. I like it. And he basically plays like the boulder in Raiders of the Lost yeah. Ark rolling downhill. <laughs> That's it's it. kind of awesome to watch. Uh, really great. Okay, Juliet, your final pick. You inspired me. Thank you. I would like De'Aaron Fox. Wow. Yes. Rookie of the Year. I just wow, rookie, rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year. Hey. Oh. Oh. Rookie my, of the Year. My team has MVP John Wall, my Rookie team? of the Year. Oh, De'Aaron Fox. You meant, like, yeah, I thought you were talking about the Heat. No. Yeah, right. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for assuming that's my team. But yeah, I got John Wall, who I think will win MVP. And De'Aaron Fox, who I think will be Rookie of the Year. He is the most charming player in the NBA, maybe. Like, Love definitely Dragon of the Balls rookies, yeah. but, like, maybe of the most NBA. Most charming in the NBA. He's, like, just... Who else is top top five Juliet Littman charming Charmers? In the Charmers. Um, Giannis, for sure. He's a charmer, for I would sure. say Giannis is, like, like number two if I'm yeah. putting Fox at number one. I think he's going to be great. And, like, that team is going to be fun and exciting, and it's like, a, it's, like, a sneaky, like, hipster team. He's the mongoose to Lonzo's Cobra. Yeah. yeah. Totally. True. I, I look forward to their back. <laughs> I'm excited for the, the Sacramento Lakers the beef to be revived. I like it. Like, let's do it. Let's like go, it. De'Aaron Fox. Micah, your final pick, the mongoose and the cobra are both across the board. <laughs> But there's plenty of other various farm animals. <laughs> Lonzo Ball and his father, De'Aaron Fox. Micah has picked board. so far. He's got Lillard. <laughs> he's got yeah. Conley. And he has got Kyle Lowry. I don't feel like you love your team, so pick somebody with your heart. It's almost like you picked in reverse. Pick I somebody think, with your heart. I think I was really mean to you about Damian Lillard. No, it's, I put, it's I put fine. A bad, it was, it was a bad tempo on it. I, I, I freaked out. I, 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 I freaked panicked. out. <laughs> I panicked. I, thought, I didn't want to be homer because, like, I, I, I mean, like, everybody knows I love Russell Westbrook like he's family, but uh, you, like he's related to me. And I wanted to pick Russell Westbrook, but then I was just like, I you overthought it. It's okay. I overthought it. It's okay. Last pick. 
We can maybe do some trades off. In camera. the words, in the words of Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic, make it count. Make it count. Wow, that's that's not exactly. It's a lot. I'm having I'm having a tough time with this last one because I wanna like I wanna say something weird like Malcolm Brogdon. Mm. Six five, six ten wing, wingspan, two hundred fifteen pounds, really oversized for his position. Really low turnovers, yeah. average ten points a game or whatever. I mean, like he's good. Always makes the extra Four pass. Four years of college. Haley Four O'Shaughnessy of college. just got really excited <laughs> from, like, from across the lot. He was really he's he has a, a female agent, which is rare, and he was like really like like very thoughtful about why he selected her. It made me really like him. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Rubio is still run available. For, he's gonna run for office. Also. George Hill is still him. available. Yeah. Kemba is still available. George Hill, huh? Just saying. George Hill shooting is terrible though. Pick, the, pick Kemba, your heart. Pick, Kemba's pick your a, good, heart. a good pick, choice. I love Kemba. Pick in your heart. Wait, I thought Kemba was off the board. No, no, I, no. Just, I just like to, I just talked. I'm gonna take Kemba ball. Walker. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna take Kemba Walker. I like him. Yeah. That's a good one. I yeah. think if Kemba Walker was not in Charlotte, he would be a much bigger star in the He's NBA. He's got great be. swagger. He does. Um, my final pick and the last pick of the NBA point guard draft is someone I still believe in, even if Danny Ainge doesn't. Wow. What's up, Isaiah? <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, Isaiah Thomas may not play this season. I don't even know if he's ever going to be the same player. <laughs> but, uh, he might be washed. Wait, wait, I don't know. So, every so time, wait, every did day. you actually preface that with saying you believe in Isaiah Thomas when Danny yeah. Age does it and says he's not going to play this season? And then season? you're like, he might be crippled. Yeah, I mean, his, his hip might, <laughs> he true. might have like a cocoon hip. Like he might need to be in a retirement home. But if not, every time people have counted out Isaiah Thomas, He's proved them wrong. That's very wow. true. And watching Isaiah Thomas play basketball was one of the most fun things you could do last year. It was absolutely incredible for Boston, and he was awesome until he was, you know. His hip. Un- yeah, that's all his hip, <laughs> hip injury, which is still an issue, uh, <laughs> took him out of the playoffs. So I'm going to say Isaiah Thomas, which concludes our, our point guard draft. Looking at this board, I have to say that I'm most impressed with Jason. Thank you. I think mm-hmm. that you mixed it up. You got you got Giannis, who is sort of the guy who's breaking the, the mold, but you also got Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you have covered the gamut. And you got everyone, so, so somehow I, I feel like that didn't quite work out. Juliet, you get lots of points for originality. Micah, you are basically a Smith's album cover Yo. because I feel like at every turn. <laughs> I was say, it's just like, it's, uh, you know what? You're just smoking and looking out the window and thinking about how you didn't get Russ. It's, it's, it's okay, you know, I've, I, I believe in me, even when y'all don't. Jason I, lucked into the best team. Like, lucked? <laughs> what? It was just kind of luck. I mean, it was, <laughs> I had the first pick. I know, but I'm saying like, it didn't even seem like, I don't know, just getting Russ and CP3 not in the first round, yeah. that's insane. It feels like we July 2016. We, no do-overs, man. It feels like, like when Khan. Johnny Flynn and Ricky Rubio. All right, we got lots, lots, lots more for you on the Ringers NBA Preview Palooza, so stick around.